So hello my awesome peoples. Today we are going to make this random joke generator. So as you can see that we are having a joke here and also we have this button. Whenever I will click this button, we will generate a new joke for you. So in this video, we are going to see how we can fetch a API and get the data and we can use it in our website. So this will be fun. Let's get into it. So for the fetch API, what we are going to fetch is we are going to fetch this API as you can see. So that's the website that we are going to fetch. So you can get the URL here. I will also link it in the description. So that's the URL that we need to fetch. And when you will make a get request, it will send us this kind of JSON as you can see. And where you will get this joke and whenever I will fetch it, every time it will make a random joke here as you can see so that's the idea how we are going to make this random joke um, generator so let's do it actually so here you can see that i am in my visual studio code and here is the all file and all are empty so first of all we need to create the layout so i will create a simple layout first of all so here let's say that in the body i will have a section and in the section first of all Let's say that I will have a div with a class of container. So container and in the container, I will have a div with a class of joke. So here we will have our jokes. So let's get the class actually, so which is the joke. So here we will have our joke and also we will have a button. So which will basically generate the jokes. So let's say that get a that joke. So that's it. And Let's actually also link our style sheet. So link CSS and here we have the style sheet and also link the script tag here. So we linked everything. So in our style.css, we need the font. So I already selected the font. We are going to use Montserrat and also 300 and 700. You can get the font from the googlefonts.com. So that's not a big deal. So after that, let's get the basic style, which is margin zero and padding 0 and also say that box sizing will be the border box border box and after that let's come to the HTML and say that font size will be 10 pixel and also say that font family I want is the Montserrat so Montserrat and also have a sans serif as a fallback and that's it so let's come to the body and give it the background color so background color so let me copy the background color for you so it will be a dark color and here it is so if i save i think we need this refresh for now so now it is okay so after that let's say that the color i want is the white so as you can see that in our this joke tip we don't have any jokes for now we will randomly generate it later but for now let's say that i will have some text so that i can style so lorem 20 so if i save as you can see that we have the 20 watt from the lorem ipsum and here is the body so after that let's come to the section so section and say that mean height will be 100 percent and also say that width will be 100 percent and padding will be 100 pixel and 0 so we will have 100 pixel padding in the top and in the bottom also let's make a display flex and align it and center and justify content also center so that's what we need for now so actually I need the mean height 100 bh so now it will be in the perfectly center so after that let's come to the container so container and here let's say that width will be 100% actually 90% not 100% so as you can see that it is now 100% and also say that max width will be something like 500 pixel yeah and also say that I want the margin 0 and auto so it will make sure that it will be in the center all time so also let's have a background color for that so let me just copy the color 
so as you can see that we have this subtle color here so after that let's have a border radius here so border radius 8 pixel so as you can see that we have so as you can see that we have this border radius here so also let's have a padding here so padding will be 3 dim so 3 dim looking good and also display flex display flex and flex direction that i want is the column so looking good as you can see and also let's style this spread graph so container spread graph and here let's say that i want the margin top not margin top actually i want the font size will be something like 2 rem and font weight 300 and also say that line height that i want is the 3 rem so as you can see it's not having the style if i check it here so actually we don't have any paragraph so let's create the paragraph actually and inside the paragraph we will have our jokes so as you can see that we having the style now so after that let's have a text alignment which will be the justify so as you can see that we have now justify text alignment so also let's style the button here so button will be margin top will be something like 40 or you can see that 4m yeah and width will be fit content and also say that padding i want is 2m so if i give it 2m and as you can see that it is perfectly fine now and let's increase the font size so font size will be 2m and also background color i want a dark color so let me copy the color and paste it here so I have now this dark color and also let me make the white color for the text looking good and let's have the border none and also border radius the border radius would be 4 pixel looking fine and cursor will be pointer and that's it so I want to make this button uh, to move here so in the right side so for that I can say that align self align self will be the flex end so now it is in the right side so we have our ui ready and all is looking good so let's fetch the api so in our app.js we need to grab the button here so button equals to so document dot query selector so query selector and we will have the button so which is the container uh, button so now we have the button here and also let's say that constant joke tip so means this joke tip that we have actually it is the joke paragraph not div so we can see that only joke mm, text so document dot query selector so query selector will be in the container and we will get the paragraph so now we have the paragraph and also the button here so what i need actually whenever i will click the button so let's have a even listener in the button so button dot add even listener so whenever i will click the button so let's listen to the click i wanna run a function so let's name the function that i wanna run so it will be the get joke so that's the function that i wanna run when we will click the button so let's create this function so here let's say that function get joke and here what i need to do is i need to make the function so let's patch the api here so for that what i need actually i need the base url so in our api as you can see that that's the base url so what i can do is we can say something like constant joke data equals to so we need to fetch it so fetch so we need to pass the url here and if i not that we need to we need to pass this url actually sorry copy this one and paste inside here so we have the url now and also let's set the header for this get request here so here let's say that in the object headers will be so it will take a object and i can say that accept 
application slash json i made a mistake here so it will be only one app so it will be application slash json so we have now header ready and we have our fetch here so what it will do now is it will fetch through this url and we will have our data inside our this constant so if i console log this constant out of this fetch so what i will get so let me see so constant sorry console.log this joke data so let me open our not here so let me open this console log here and whenever i will click this as you can see that we have a returning promise here and in the promise as you can see that it is fulfilled and also the response is here so that's the response and it is a status 200 means everything is okay we are successfully fetching the data so we need to make the data readable means we need to make the data in the json so for that what i can do actually say that constant joke object so joke object equals to so i am making this joke object so we need to make this data readable so for that i can so i joke data dot json and this will make the data readable but we will have a problem here so whenever i am fetching the api we are doing it not in stanley it will take some time to fetch the with the url so what i need to do is we need to wait for the time when it is fetching so we don't wanna run this line of code without fetching our data so for that what i have in javascript is async so what i can do actually inside our function before our fetch i can say that wait so also here when i am saying the json also we can say that wait so what it will do actually it will wait for the fetch so it will take some time after the fetch whenever after the fetch done we will run this line of code here means we are now getting the json here so basically what i am saying that we will wait for the fetch so it will take some time and whenever the fetch is complete we will go to the next line which is this json we are making the jokes data to the json means we are taking the response of the fetch and we are making it into the object so when we will have the object let's console log it so let me see what it will be so object so joke object there will be an error because we are using this await so this await can be used in a function when we have async in the function so let's have this async so async something like that now we can use this await and it will be perfectly fine so let's console log the jokes object so in our console log if i click it as you can see that we have a object here and in the object what i have is actually i have a joke and id and also the status which is 200 which means okay so what i need actually i need this joke actually i don't need anything else so let's get the joke so i can say that object dot joke and if i open it inspect the console log and here as you can see we have now joke and whenever i will also click we have another joke so it will create a random jokes for us so what I need actually, I need to put these jokes inside our this joke div. So we can do it very easily. So what I can do actually, I can say that this joke text means our this paragraph, this one dot in our HTML will be our joke object. So the inside the joke object, let me show you once again. If I if you can see that we have this joke. So we can say that something like joke object dot joke so that's fine so now we have our this in our dot html sorry in our html so whenever i will save and click this now as you can see that it is now randomly generated by our api so we have now a good joke here and whenever i will click it will create these random jokes here so it is looking so awesome so actually what i want to do when i will come and make a refresh as you can see that that's our lorem ipsum that we gave here 
so whenever i will click it it will uh, make or it will operate this text and make a new jokes so when i will load the website also i want to get a uh, jokes instead of this is dummy text so for that what i can do actually i can say that here in our document dot query selector and not query selector sorry document dot add event listener so i want to add a event listener which is the dom content loaded so whenever we will load our website i want to do something so what i want to do is i want to fetch this url so now if i save as you can see that for the first time it is also at generating a jokes for us as you can see so whenever i will come to the website as you can see that it is making a joke for us already and if i wanna also get a, another joke i can do it by clicking here so looking perfect so that's it as you can see so let's do it with another way so what i can do actually i can make it comment and let's do it with another way so this time what we will do actually we will not use any kind of async or await so let's see how we will do it so we will call a function as we did before so which will be the get joke and here what i will do actually i will directly call the fetch and call the url so the url will be the same as you know this is the url that we want to fetch so here what i want to do actually also i want to have the header so it will be the headers here and i want to make the accept will be the application so and json so that's the header and all is set up here and what i want to do actually when this fetch is done only then i want to do my other job so let's say that then what i want to do i want to get the json so after fetching the data what i will do actually i will get the data and pass it to another function where i will say that data dot json so it what it will do is it will make the data to the json format and we will get the object so when we will get the object also we can say that then what we will do so we will get the object so let's pass the object here and say that i wanna pass the inner html means this one here so let's set the inner html here so jokes dot dot inner html equals to our object dot joke so here as you can see that it is also working perfectly fine So if you can see that it is also a short way to do it. So if you like this kind of content, please make sure to subscribe the channel because I make this kind of website related or web development related video. I hope you also like those video. So don't forget to subscribe the channel and my name is Arfan and I will see you in the next video. Till then bye bye Kudha Hafiz.